Assalamu alaikum. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about the animals. Animals are uh, the most important part of the ecosystems of the biospheres. Animals are placed in a specific kingdom in the five kingdom system called the animal kingdom. In this group of an organisms, we categorize uh, some specific group of uh, living organisms which are eukaryotic, which are multicellular, from very simplest sponges to very complex mammals, as complex as the human beings, ourselves. Animals, they are highly adapted to their environments because they are the heterotrophs, that is, they have to obtain food from the environment they have to depend upon the uh, producers uh, and sometimes um, other, uh, other organisms, the other animals, that is the consumers for their food source. They have to adapt to specific types of environments for uh, acquiring that energy and for reproducing their, um, uh, themselves to continue their race. Animals are widely distributed in almost all types of habitats. Animals are present in aquatic habitats, in ponds, in lakes, in oceans, in seas. They are present in all types of terrestrial habitats, like the forests, almost all kinds of forests, in the freezing cold, in the very, very hot deserts. Animals are widely distributed. Even they are present in the air. We know the birds. Birds are the animals which uh, live for some time on the trees, which live for some time um, in the air, that is, most of the time they are flying inside the air and finding their food or maybe finding their prey if they are carnivore animals. Animals are the very important parts of the food chains and food webs. We know that animals, they are heterotrophs and they are consumers. They have to consume different types of uh, producers, maybe sometimes plants, maybe sometimes algae, sometimes maybe some other animals. So animals are of various kinds. There is a huge diversity of animals present on the planet Earth. They are eukaryotic, that is, their cells have a true nucleus. Animal consists of the eukaryotic cells. They are heterotrophic, they rely on the organic carbon source the carbon which is provided by the producers in the ecosystem or maybe by other consumers which are the herbivores or the primary uh, consumers. Uh, so animals are present at every level of, every trophic level of the consumers. Animals, they may be independently living or they may live as parasites in or on the bodies of other organisms. We know that the deers, the lions, the rats, the moles, they live as an independent organism. They may make the groups and families. There are many animals uh, like uh, roundworms, uh, um, the roundworms, uh, they are also animals and they live inside the intestine of human being and some other animals. There are some other types of animals which lives on the bodies of other animals and we call them ectoparasites. For example, the ticks and mites, which lives inside the uh, hairs um, that is on the skin of the uh, cattle. Um, the ticks, so ticks and mites, they are ectoparasites that they are living on the bodies of some organisms, other organisms, animals or maybe sometimes plants. So animals are very, very important for human beings and for the ecosystems for different types of ecosystems present on earth because they makes very important part of food webs and the food chains. For example, if the herbivore animals are not present in an environment, then uh, the plants may grow to a very, very high extent and this um, uh, imbalance may harm the ecosystem. If the carnivores are not present, then herbivores may increase to that extent 
that they eat upon all the uh, grass and the plants of the ecosystem and ultimately they will also die so uh, they make a natural check and balance mechanism inside the environment now we talk about the diversity of animals animals are present in diversified habitats they are present almost everywhere they are widely distributed there are two major groups of animals called invertebrates and the vertebrates all the animals are categorized in either invertebrates or vertebrates invertebrates are the organisms who do not have a vertebral column actually we say invertebrates do not have a vertebral column and the vertebrates the organisms the animals who do have a vertebral column and uh, their uh, their actually nerve cord the nervous system is running in that vertebral column animals they are wild if they are living in their natural habitat they are wild we call them wild animals animals are domesticated that is if we keep them in our homes or we keep them in our um, farm houses they are domesticated for example we keep pets hum billiyan rakhte hain hamare bacche kuch bacche tota palte hain kuch dogs rakhte hain so they are pets um, some other people actually culture them for um, their personal or commercial purposes for getting eggs milk or some other products for example people keep um, the the hens and the cocks they are also kept for beauty beauty of the nature for example some people um, do have peacocks in their houses some people keep the um, animals uh, like uh, the beautiful animals like uh, uh, the pheasants in their house which are very beautiful birds animals could be kept into into a captivity or a controlled habitat for example we know that we actually grow animals in uh, the zoological gardens and in the safari parks zoological gardens which are commonly known as the zoos for example uh, we have a zoo in very good good big zoo in lahore called the hor zoo uh, there is a zoo in islamabad there is one in karachi uh, if we talk about pakistan and there are very big zoos in the world zoo is an environment where the animals are kept in in a specific environment which is not very uh, actually uh, near to their natural environment and uh, animals could also be kept in the environments which are more near which are more close to their natural environments we call them safari parks there are big environments and there are there are big areas huge areas in which we try to create an environment which is closer to the natural habitat of that animal we call them mostly safari parks or sometimes the national parks pakistan do have many national parks one of uh, these is very important one the ayubia national park in uh, the khyber pakhtunkhwa uh, area uh, which have lot many animals 